Hello, I'm Sue Grant and we're just going up the passerelle of Tiger Lily of Cornwall, 33 metre Lauren Giles, built at Cochrane Shipyard in the UK in 1989. We're now at her elegant external helm position. All the controls are there for the twin engines, bow thruster and so on and now we're going to take a stroll down her starboard side deck. Lovely teak decks, it's a glorious summer's day. She's at the Palmer Super Yacht Village that happened in May 2022 and is looking absolutely outstanding. You'll see that the superstructure in cream all grip it's just been completely repainted. All of those saloon windows were out and resealed and are looking fantastic. And here on the superstructure, you can see there's a jacuzzi and a lovely seating area and sunbathing area in front of the foremast. And now we're coming up to the foredeck and you've got anchoring arrangements, access to the Ford Lazarette, and this lovely sunbathing area before the bowsprit, which is seeing good use as we film now. Schooner rig, all furling, easily handled, with plenty of electric winches and four captive winches see these great bulwarks so she's a very safe boat for families and small people. You can see better this great entertaining space and then behind it you can see that there's loads of room for toys. There are paddle boards and all sorts of toys beneath that and then we're walking aft you see that door access from the deck saloon out onto the deck wonderful acres of gleaming varnish just all refinished by her crew she's just getting ready for her first cruise of the season after the show and now here is a wonderful aft deck which is totally secluded from the dock and a great place to spend time so now we're going to have a look inside The deck saloon aboard Tiger Lily is one of her joys. Just to starboard aft is the galley. It's compact but very well equipped, melee equipment and it all works very well. There's a serving hatch for the aft deck. And then look at this glorious deck saloon. Fabulous eating area if you'd like to be inside. She's fully air-conditioned throughout. Wonderful seating area. Just going past the aft mast and also interior steering position and good access onto the side decks as needed. You see you've got really good vision all around. And it's light and bright. I love these white deck heads with the high gloss teak. Works really, really well. And then we're going to go down to the lower deck. And here is a lovely lower saloon. Great place to read a book, listen to music, watch a movie maybe. Just out of the way and very private. And then we're going to walk up the long corridor as the owner's stateroom is forward. So here we go, and into this lovely, light, bright place with lots of storage, little seating area to starboard. There you see the foremast. Lots of natural light. Absolutely charming.
and then into the owner's ensuite with a bath, which is very cool. The guests also have lovely cabins. So we're just going to have a look at one on the starboard side. Here we are. Nice large double with a basin, loads of storage, little writing desk, hull port and superstructure port, and then this ensuite. And there is to the right a shower stall. Lovely place to spend time again. Say hi to Ben from Burthen, who's at the Super Yacht Show and is taking this film. And then we'll go down the corridor and there is a mirror image double just here. Again in the same style with the same setup nice basin, writing desk, and again an ensuite with separated shower stall. Just to your left now is the shower. And then if we go back, there's a family shower room which also serves the next upper and lower guest cabin, which you'll see in a moment. So that's huge. And so let's go and have a look at that. It's off the lower saloon. And it's just here. Again, with its own basin, writing desk, large upper and lower berths, plenty of storage. And further aft is a day head, which is also the heads for this fourth guest cabin. So we're now going to walk aft. And Tiger Lily has a proper laundry room, utility room. She's got refrigeration in it, washer dryer, and all the stuff you need. See all the pressed uniforms. Washer dryer's new this year. She's had quite a lot of work done with the paintwork and also a birthday to the engine room. To our right is the day head. So no dogs beyond this point, I'm afraid. And now we're in her engine room. She's got two 33 kilowatt Northern Lights generators and acoustic hoods. See one there and there's the other one on the other side, on the starboard side and she's powered by twin Perkins Sabre 225 Ti turbos. Carries an enormous amount of fuel, 2,750 gallons. Look at these, if you look under the engines, you will see everything has been repainted and they are looking very, very fresh. This engine room is also really well insulated and so it's very, very quiet. She's also got a Sabre hydraulic engine, which uh, runs a PTO Ford. And then we'll walk aft into the crew accommodation, which is lovely. There's a little galley here, crew mess. That table can come down to make another double if you've got a lot of crew on. And then she's got two nice crew cabins, each with upper and lower berths. Here's the starboard one. And the port one is just here. Just put the light on, see what we're doing. There we go. To the right of this one is the heads and shower compartment. 
so that's all really good and then we can go up the steps and out onto the aft deck this is the crew access and do you see what a lovely place this is and how very private, very clever and then we walk up the steps to the steering position One last look. And then we'll take our leave of Tiger Lily of Cornwall, exceptional 33 metre scale.